Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Come here, Shalom. Kul Haloyim. La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bahashim. Kaha Kudash. Double honors to our apostles and to our elders, a great millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwa. Let's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to just touch on Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's their biblical name and how they really believe that the Lord and who they call the Savior, which they ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is a so-called white man and that he's actually of their, their, of their race. And nothing can be further from the truth, you know, that's not in the scriptures. The scriptures describes our Lord as being a dark, melanated man with woolly hair. But the so-called white man got his hands on the Bible. He whitewashed a lot of things. He whitewashed all the images. He whitewashed the history of the Hebrew Israelites, which are dark, melanated people. Now, today, they're not all dark and mel melanated like that, you know, because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And we, you know, tend to look like the other nations now, you know. Um, but if the sea line goes by the father. So it has to be Salakia. Okay, Salakia at the plantation. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, Esau Edom man got his hands on the on the scriptures, and that's in the apocrypha. That history is there when they, you know, and they that's why you have a period called a Renaissance. Because they whitewashed everything. When the so-called white man came out of the caves and came into power, they whitewashed all the images of the so-called dark ages, so to speak, you know, which were being ruled Europe and all these places was being ruled by so-called blacks at the time, you know. So and I just, you know, it was just by the spirit that the Bashim Yahweh Shai placed it on my spirit to do this lesson because I was, you know, listening to something. I can't think exactly what it was. And then it just dawned on me like they really can't help but believe what they believe and it's <laughs> because their fathers have told them lies. But I wanted to get this Jeremiah 16 and 19 while I'm at this light. Oh Yahweh my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction the gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say surely our fathers have inherited lies vanity and things wherein there is no profit because that's what's done happen and see they, they they have no idea they're gonna be really upset and, and you know i can remember when i first came in the truth you used to see a lot of christians running up on the hebrew israelites and um you know what about the white man what about the so-called white man they would never ask about what about the so-called chinese or what about the so-called japanese what about the so-called koreans they always so what about the, the so-called white man can't be saved what do you mean the so-called white man can't be saved the lord loves everyone you don't see those christians running up on the um on on, on the apostles and elders and the brothers on the highways and byways like that no more every now and then you'll see you know you'll have you know people that'll claim to be Christians, they'll run up and say, you know, because they may hear the hear the um what's coming out and they may ask some questions and then they may try and bring out a scripture or two, but then they get cut all up and some of them either accept it or they don't. And you know, like I said again, it's not a, a color thing. See the so-called white man, he he put he pushed white, he pushed black. Those are not nationalities. Colors are not nationalities. And they're not actually even white. They're actually pinkish to reddish in color, right? And there's no such thing as black people. There's just different shades of brown people. But they're the ones that put these connotations out here that they're white and they're pure and innocent. Because, you know, that's what the word white kind of means, you know, when you look it up. And, you know, they had that perfect depiction in um, the, the Malcolm X movie. And, you know, we, we don't, we're not into no Malcolm X, but, you know, that was a perfect depiction in that movie where they were showing... Um, that prison scene where this guy was kind of um, mentoring, so to speak, Denzel Washington. And that one part, he had him reading all the um, reading the definitions for black. And it was all negative shit. Black male, black ball, blacklisted, you know, dingy, dirty, deathly, um, void of light. You see? So the so-called white man, he pulled that off and, and, and he pushed on the world that he's God. You see, and that goes off into um, Second Thessalonians as well, you know, and that man of sin, that, that son of perdition is being revealed. 
That's how you know we're in the last days. That's one of the things that was spoken of that will be, you know, will be going down. You know, that, that falling away first of the Israelites. Now we're at that stage of Esau Edom, the so-called white man being revealed for who he really is. And, and the world is starting to see it. You see? Because the brothers are, are going hard, man. The brothers are going hard body, man, in these last days, bringing out these, these scriptures. And it's like, it's more and more camps that's coming out every single day, right? The, the, the camp numbers are, 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 you can't even keep up with them. Every time I look up, I'm saying like, oh, wow, that's another camp. Oh, wow, that's another camp. You know, I listen to them here and there to see what, you know, what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep up with all of them. You know, I generally just keep running with um, GMS. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, that's my general teaching. But like I said, every now and then, you know, I really don't have no time for it because I don't see no use in getting away from my, my, my original teachers. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm, I'm being fed properly. And I don't need to be, but like I said, we listen to some of these other groups to see if they're teaching the correct doctrine. And that's the only reason. And, you know, you want to be a little bit grounded before you get to doing that. You got to get grounded. You can't be flipping and flopping through all these, these Hebrew Israelite camps. Because you got some camps out here, they're, they're teaching the name. Some of them are not teaching the name, you know, which is the true name of the father, Yahweh. And the true name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Um, those are the true names of the father and son. Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. And the true name of his son is Yahweh, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And like I said again, the so-called white man got his hands on the, on the scriptures and he's selling people with Jesus Christ. And there's no letter J in Hebrew. You see, there's no letter E, there's no letter O, no letter U, no letter V. The so-called white man actually added those vowel points to the Hebrew alphabet, so to speak, which basically they, that that they speak Yiddish is really just German, German Slavic. It's not real Hebrew, what they're speaking. That's why an average German, they can understand what a, what, what a, a, a so-called um, is, Israeli is saying. They can actually have a, a full conversation because their language is basically the same. You know, give or take, you know, the, the, a few things have been switched up here and there, you know, over time. But. In Salakia. Yeah, I'm gonna see what that is. Salakia met the plantation. So yeah, yeah, but um anyway. See these 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 so-called white people, especially, and it's gonna be the rest of these nations as well, because you have to realize there are Man, it's, it's billions of Christians and, a, and, a, and, and it's a smorgasbord of all the nations that believe that their Lord is a white guy. Out of all the people on the planet, they believe that their Lord is actually a so-called white guy. So when, when, when things really go down and people are really starting to see it now because, you know, that them scriptures be cutting straight to the heart of some of these um, people that you see on the, on the streets, man, when they come by, they get cut to the heart. Because the scriptures is real, man. That's why they get so out of, out bent out of shape. That's why they want to get so rowdy. You see what I'm saying? You see them out there, they get all red as hell. Be wanting to try and scrap with the apostles. You know, be wanting to scrap and put their hands on the, on, on the elders. They can't take the fact that us bringing the scriptures out and letting the people know that, look, the way that you're trying to describe the Lord, that's not the way that he looks. You see what I'm saying? That boat doesn't sail. Anybody in 2022 still believing that the Lord is some so-called white man that loves everybody and he, he, he just loves everything. He don't hate nothing. He loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. All that crap that you done heard in church all your life. None of that stuff is true, man. Most of the stuff that you hear in Christianity is not true. All that getting on bended knee, giving some woman a ring, begging her to be your wife. None of that shit is in the scriptures. All that um them them vows that the 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 the, the man with the with the collar got he got the collar on. You know what I'm saying? Telling you, uh, uh giving you this. Uh, now I pronounce you man or what? That's not in the scriptures, man. Most of the stuff that you that you really hear in the, in the church setting is not in the scriptures. And people are starting to really realize that, and they're going to wake up to that. 
and they're and they're starting to really realize that hey these these guys are telling the truth this this truth what if they're telling the truth basically they they have that that idea of what if they're telling the truth because when you sit down and you logically look at it <laughs> just with just a natural mind but you know you how about shimmy outside he blocks them out he blocks them so they really don't know what's going on but just with just regular reading understanding man you should be able to see that this truth the law statutes and commandments first off the covenants all those things the promises the laws the um the uh, the giving of uh, uh the services of yahweh bashim yahweh according to romans 9 and 4 all those things pertain to the israelites it's clear then when you go off into it a little further it's telling you that Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. But they'll they'll take that and be like, well, that's not what that really means. The Lord, he really doesn't hate them. And, and they, they'll get all away from the fact that this goes back to Esau and Jacob coming from Isaac and Rebekah. You see? Because the promises was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They'll they'll make they they make it seem as if, okay, now the Lord is not dealing with Israel. He done lied to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He done got rid of um Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now it's all for the so-called black um white people, so-called Chinese people, so-called Japanese people. See? So they fooled the people, and it was a great deception. <laughs> and actually, you know, the deceived and the deceiver are the Lord's, man. Uh, you know, that's in the scriptures. The Lord created the deceived and the deceiver. So the deceiver is the so-called white man. And the ones that's being deceived, hey, they all belong to the Lord. And the Lord don't want everybody to get this truth. So there's going to be people that's going to be blinded all the way to the very end. And then that's when this scripture is going to come to life. It says, surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Because there is no, no profit in, 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 in um, white Jesus. And they and they barely hanging on. They still out here trying to hold on to dear life. Uh, th these churches have fallen so far off, man. Congregants are down. They out here trying to get their the the, the tide money back up. You got people like Creflo Dollar. He's coming out saying that you know he was wrong in the way that he was basically commanding tithes from his um from his uh uh congregants and stuff like that. Now, I just done a lesson yesterday. They got these, um, a, a few of these pastors or whatever, um, little watchdogs, you know, they because they be jealous as hell, you know, most of them, you know. Because if all these Christians was really about the Lord, if they were really about the saving of, of, of the people, you wouldn't have so many churches, man. You, why would you have a church across the street from the other one? Why? That don't even make no sense if you're all congregants of the Lord. If you're all a part of the congregation, why would you have four churches? Why would you have 20 churches in a, in a mile radius? All teaching sweet white baby Jesus, but all got their own thing going on. Why? Because you got each one of these pastors that's trying to fill their damn pockets up, man. And they're all greedy dogs. And people are going to realize in the very end that, you know, hey, look, we've been taught lies. And they're going to be pissed with their fathers. And they're going to have to pay for what their forefathers done. They don't know that they're on the hook for a tab. It's got to be paid. So, hey, if you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are if you're into white Jesus Christianity, if you're going to one of these churches, one of these harlot houses, you better get out of there, man. You better get out of there. Because it's only a certain amount of time that the Lord is going to continue giving out the warning, man. That door of mercy, that door of grace is about to close up, man. And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because you are the Hebrew Israelites. You're the ones that them promises was given to. Your forefathers is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See, the so-called white man, his forefather is Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. That's their biblical name, the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And remember, the scripture says, hey, the Lord says, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. And the Lord created them to be the wicked. Look at the earth. Look at how they're running things. These people, every, every day you look up, it's something even more wickeder from these people. And they writing the laws, man. They're writing the laws on your children um, becoming transgenders. They're writing the laws and cur curriculum as to what they learn in school. 
they're writing the laws as to um um how these women can go out here and just you know have abortion after abortion after abortion you see so you have to realize who you're dealing with here man you're dealing with the enemy this man is destructive as hell all they do is they're at war constantly the the food and water is all messed up the animals are, are looking depressed a lot of and a lot of things are extinct the trees and stuff are looking um withered you see and now they're about to go into a whole new phase of a possible lockdown within the next month or so two months or so you see I'm at the plantation right now. I, I was awakened this morning to a, a text from one of the, the guys that work well. I don't work directly with him, but he's a part of our team or whatever. They kind of do something different from what I do. But, you know, he's texting me about how, you know, he took the home test and he's positive for you know what. So he's not going to be in for the next two weeks or so, right? And... It's about to go into that phase again, man. They're about to turn up on that. And it's about to go into phase two or phase three or four or five or whatever the so-called white man is pulling off. Because, you know, they got that, that M-O, the M-O-N-K-E-Y that's swinging through the jungle pox. Now they got that popping off. And it's just going to get a lot more crazier out here, man. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, you have to repent. You have to repent. That's the only source of power. He, the Lord is the only source of power we have. We don't have a standing military. You're not gonna. You're not in control of no laws being made. You're not in control of no curriculum that's being taught to your children. You're not in control of of disciplining your your children. The so-called white man are disciplining them for you. You're not in control of running your household, or your 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 woman can call the damn police on you, have you arrested. You're not in control of anything. You're not in control of the, the food that's coming into your house. You're not in control of the water that's coming through your faucet. You see? You're thinking that you own a little piece of land, but you got to get a so-called white man tax money on it every, every uh, twice a year or whatever amount of time. Depends on where you live. You're not in control of anything. This is not freedom. But they'll tell you that, you, that you're free. They just gave you Juneteenth. Which means absolutely nothing except for them just trying to appease you niggas. Let's give them a little holiday. They're, they're starting to get a little riled up. Let's, let's calm them down. That's how the so-called white man get down. They'll give you a Martin Luther King's Day. You know, they'll give you a, 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 a black history month. Of no real history at all, you know. But like I said again, this scripture right here. It's going to jump off the page for, for a lot of these so-called white people and, you know, all these other nations as well that believe that the Lord is some white guy. They're going to see that he's a dark, melanated man with woolly hair, with a deep voice, an austere man, and, and, and he's coming to crush this place. It's not going to be all that. He's coming back to pick your babies up and kiss them on the cheek and get to talking about how cute they are. The Lord is coming to kill infants, pregnant women, old women senior citizens <laughs> he's he's coming to do a hey, he's about to do a real number on this place man so you you better get out of the mindset of white jesus get out of the mindset of white jesus and he loves everybody and got him looking all effeminate looking like the uh, looking like a the bearded lady i call it you know every picture that you see this this this, this so-called white man looking like a lady touching his heart you know, with the two fingers, you see him. It's looking like a chick, man. The Lord don't look like that. And they're going to pay for all that stuff, man. All that blasphemy against the, the, the Lord, man. The Holy Spirit as well. They're going to pay for all that, man. So, hey, just keep your head on the swivel. Because like I said again, it's about to get grimy out here. And the so-called white man is, is being revealed for who he really is. The devil that the Bible speaks of. Because you know you got to be a wicked ass race to whitewash all the images of the original people of the scriptures, man. That lets you know that they have absolutely no fear of your hell about Shimia So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Come here, Shalom.